Hello St Michael's, how are you doing? It's Richard here uh, from St Michael's Church and uh, this week uh, we are thinking about compassion and I know that you've already been uh, thinking a bit about it already and uh, perhaps you've uh, already learnt what compassion means. I often think of compassion as being being the kind of care for for people when they're in need someone who really really needs some help and then someone else shows them compassion by caring for them and showing them love there's a story in the bible um, from the book of ruth and it's all about a lady called ruth do you know anyone called ruth it's a lovely name isn't it shall we listen to the story okay so there was a lady called Naomi and she had two sons um, but the sons both died sadly and they left two wives and one of the wives was called Ruth say hello Ruth and Ruth had the chance to go off and um, find a new husband and have a new family she hadn't had any children so um, in those days, if you didn't have any children and you didn't have a husband, it was very difficult for a woman um, because um, it was the man who was able to get the jobs and provide the money. And so a, a woman needed a, a husband to look after her and um, for the woman to have a child so that, that she could have a family. And that, that meant a lot in those days. Um, so. Um, when Naomi said to Ruth, you go off and have your own, fa find a new husband, and fa have a new family. Um, what would have been normal is for Ruth to go off and find a new family. But Ruth said something that wasn't very common. She said that she would stay with Naomi and that she would, um, she would come and uh, be family with Naomi. And so Naomi and Ruth went off and they came across a farm and there was a farmer and he was called Boaz and Boaz uh, didn't have a family of his own yet and um, Ruth ended up uh, meeting Boaz and they fell in love and even though uh, Ruth was was had already been married and uh, Boaz could have he was a rich man he could have found uh, any any wife he wanted he chose Ruth and God provided Boaz for Ruth so that she could be looked after so that she could have a family and do you know what they got married they got married Boaz and Ruth. Oh, poor Ruth fell over. <laughs> they got married and they had children. You see, God had compassion on Ruth. Ruth um, made a difficult choice to show compassion to her mother-in-law, Naomi. She could have left Naomi on her own. Would have been very, very difficult for Naomi because there would have been no one to look after her. Both her sons had died. And Ruth showed compassion to Naomi. And then God showed compassion to Ruth by providing Boaz to be a husband for her. And it says in the end of the book of Ruth, it says that may be famous in Bethlehem. Now we know what happened in Bethlehem, don't we? We have not too long ago thought about Christmas and there was a very special person that was born in Bethlehem. And do you know what? Ruth is actually the great, 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 lots of great grandmother to Jesus. She's in the family tree. And so when we, if we think about it, the book of Ruth and Ruth the lady actually helps us think about Easter, when we think about Jesus, 
when we think about Jesus dying on the cross for us, when we think about God having compassion on us, so much compassion that he sent Jesus, his son, to die on the cross. And uh, I wonder if you could think of which hero chocolate in the box of heroes uh, helps us think about Easter. Which chocolate is the Easter chocolate? That's right, it's the cream egg, twisted one. And did you know that Jesus and Ruth are related? Family tree. I wonder if you've ever looked at your family tree. I wonder if you've ever asked for to see any photos of some of your really, really old relatives. Maybe relatives that aren't alive anymore. Here's one of my oldest relatives that I could find. It's a picture. It's actually a painting before they had photos. And this man's name was David Miller. And he is my great, great, great grandfather. And he was alive in sort of the early 1800s. And he was a farmer. Um, and he looks quite smart, doesn't he? But uh, it's because he dressed up posh for the, for the painting. And he was a farmer in Scotland. Sometimes it, it, it's really interesting to go back and look through your family tree. And when, when the writer of Matthew's Gospel wrote Jesus's family tree, you can find Ruth in there. And so God had compassion on Naomi. God had compassion on Ruth. God had compassion on all of Ruth's family. And God had compassion on us when Jesus comes, the descendant of Ruth. When Jesus comes, we remember God had compassion on us by sending Jesus to come and live life as a human being, to understand what life is like for us and then to die for us. And this is what Christians believe. This is uh, part of the big story of God that Christians uh, celebrate, um, we particularly celebrate at uh, Easter time. And uh, I love cream eggs because it helps me remember uh, God's compassion at Easter. Sending you lots of love, St Michael's. I hope you're having a good day. And uh, can't wait till I get to come back and be with you in person again. Uh, but hope you found this video helpful. And uh, may God go with you into the rest of your day. Amen.